welcome to another Decal Ranch tutorial. I was surfing through Facebook and someone asked if there was a tutorial to show you how to do these interlocking letters. So, here's a tutorial. There's kind of two ways to go about doing this. So let's move this over and get that up. Just get that out of the actual way. And then let's just slide this over. We'll group it together. So we know our results. There is kind of two ways to approach this. One, if you're not worried about complete accuracy on, because this font I'm using has curved lines. If you're not worried about making sure everything is exactly spaced right or the cuts are right on the same distance, you can always just go to the cut tool, the knife tool. And let's see, where are we at? So we'll go down here. And down here. Well, not 100% perfect, but you get the idea. There's, I could have done that right there a little better, but you, you get the concept of there's our over, on, look, under look. If you want, depending on the font, say this is, is a curved area of a letter, and you want this to be curved, there's another way to approach this. So let's, whoop. So let's get rid of this. All right, what I'm gonna do is put an offset on each letter. Offset, let's do 0.03. We'll do 0.04, apply. Offset. 0.04, apply, and then what I like to do is make them a different color just so we can, just so I can see them easier. Come on, there we go. <laughs> I was going to get there eventually. So this, I know what's letter, what's offset, but then I also like to put a box around it. The reason I do the box is when I go to line everything up, I can then group it, center it, vertical and horizontal, and it should fall right back into the spot where it should be, as long as you don't move the letters. Makes life a little bit easier, so you don't have to go up, oh, let's move it a couple clicks here, a couple clicks there. So I'm gonna make at least three copies and I'm going to kind of work one easy way. We need this section. So this pink here has to cut through the C here. But what we don't want is it to cut this part here. So we don't need the black part. We can get ahead and delete that. And we really only want this section to cut. So what we'll do is I'll grab the knife tool, go to the old slice, and then delete the rest of the G. Okay, so we don't need the yellow. And then I will send that to the back. I'll select them and then I'll subtract. So now we have this section here and this section here. I'll select all three and I'll group it. Okay, let's work on this part of the G. So we don't need the C, we do need this, because this section here cuts. But we don't want this to cut the black, so let's grab the knife tool and we'll just slice that part out, then delete it. We don't need the pink, but we do need it to cut right, right here. So let's just select the two, subtract. Let's group it. Let's line them up. And there you go. I copied it a third time just in case I screwed up. Or if I wanted to do, if I did this part or this part. But either or, I always have an extra one just in case I screw one up. I could delete it, copy the other one, and keep going. If I screw up, 
midway through and I don't have a blank one to go off of, I have to recreate everything again, even though I did have it up here. But uh, just to be on the safe side, I always have at least one I haven't touched just to make sure that you easily can just delete. You screw up, delete it, get back into it. Because there's, there's not a lot of steps in this process. And we just go in here, select them, ungroup, delete, we're done. Now these lines are a little bit crisper than the original because I just winged it, but it's uh, it gives it a, a, a little bit of a, you know a couple extra steps, but it gives it a cleaner look. But there you have, I'm calling them interlocking let letters. So here is a, a kind of a simple way to do interlocking letters. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And as always, have a great week.